Hey okay. everybody, well, we're at the uh, trailhead for the Bow Glacier Falls hike. Mm -hmm. um, hoping that it's going to be a bit of an easy one. Have a nice day. We've got some tea packed and um, yeah, we're going to head out. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the notify bell. We're going to have tons of great content in this amazing venue here in Lake Louise. Um, the Lake Louise Banff area. We're right now on the ice, just off the ice fields parkway. So, uh, oh, and what else? Oh, yeah. We're visiting uh, Bow Glacier Fall today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Did I mention that? I don't know. I did, but oh, you did okay. too now. Okay. <laughs> all right. So stay tuned. We're going to have some tea action uh, and get some glacier water to keep on our trend of uh, trying different, trying different waters here in the Rocky Rocky Mountains. Water. <sighs> and in the washroom wall, they put uh, the poster with a mountain goat on it. I don't know if that's a suggestion that there's a mountain goat in this area. Okay, honestly, it's slightly disappointing. Uh, I didn't see any big animals, any birds, right? Yeah, no. No, no not. Bald eagles yet? No. There's and a little, uh, no we'll other. Hang on, come here, come here. There's a little. Oh, you got it off. There's a little no silkworm on your hat. I don't want to. Mm. Leave that. I got rid of it. Okay, thank you. It wasn't a silkworm, of course, but a little caterpillar. Anyway, we haven't seen anything big yet. On the hike, we don't want to see a grizzly or even a bird. I know. I think we're safe today because uh, there are several people in front of us. It's the number that I like, you know, I see people and they go first. So when I go there, it wouldn't be spider webs all over my face. I kind of like that. First part of the hike is just alongside the, uh, the shore of Bow Lake. And we can see our destination far up there. And there's this little bit, this waterfall here. That's, That's the where we're going, 4.6 K. Uh, supposed to be easy hiking. It's really flat right now. Help us stretch up, uh, stretch out the the toes, the calves, and the hamstring. And today is another beautiful day. We really enjoy how close to the shore this walk is. We can really have a great view of the lake and feel the water right beside it. Here it's just gently uh, it lapping on the shore. Yeah. So, um, yesterday at Lake Louise, we found those muddyish end on the other side of the uh, Shadow Laurier, right? Uh, and today right. we have a close up because yesterday was from far away. Those muds, that's why they look so like a, the lake looks so cloudy or um, Japanese bath. Yeah. Like those soaking, like. Oh, there's a little fish, mini little fish. I didn't see it. Uh, uh, he's but yeah, under it's, the rock. The lake looks very opaque. Like sometimes the streams are really clear. As you see, the water is clear, but you can see that silt. Are you going to touch some? Yeah, you know, I wonder if they make Is it that soft? Yes. Yeah, they, I think it's basically smashed rocks, like the powder of the rocks that have just been, because they've been scraping together as they flow. Oh, the texture is really good. Right, cosmetic. I, well, I was thinking, do they have like a Rocky Mountain uh, purifying uh, mask, you know, like uh, all those from Italy and France. They should make this. This. Oh. Hmm. Maybe that's our next brand. Very, <laughs> very satisfying. <Gen> mask. <laughs> <laughs> very satisfying. And it dries really well. Doesn't have any smell. Ooh. Rushing River. This is so fun. Now we're right.
right beside the river. We had to walk through a little bit, so we got to test the waterproof shoes again. Right? That's so much negative nylon. <laughs> <laughs> Not nylon. That's our family expression for negative ions. We call them negative nylons whenever we're around flowing water. Oh, that's cool on my foot too. Nice. Gorgeous. Uh, crystal blue of the water. So this has been a really pleasant walk so far, uh, beside the lake and then beside the river, or the runoff from the glacier. And I think we're going to be heading up soon. It's not a crazy climb today, but I think before we head up, we're going to stop and have a little tea break. Today's trail video is brought to you by Jumping Shui Xian. Yes, uh, <laughs> interesting. Because today's Jumping Shui Xian is also very dark. In the past few days... They can see me, I wave to them. Oh! How? <laughs> Glasses. Oh, makes sense. Okay. <laughs> in the past few days, we noticed no matter what mm. tea we brew in our thermos, it always come out like a diluted uh, shu color. Yeah, pretty and dark. Yeah, even yesterday's yellow tea were like oxidized or something. It doesn't never see tea so dark, so But we finally red. figured it out. It's because we use the thermos for shu buar every night when we, uh, before we go to sleep so yeah. that uh, next day we have a warm drink as soon as we wake up. And uh, the mineral water seems to stay in the... Um, it always stains the tea wear more. Yeah, yeah. So now, no matter what, let me demonstrate this. Uh, supposed to be light, light uh, greenish yellow liquor. Now you see how red it is. It's actually really pretty, but uh, no. Oh. Back. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's a very <laughs> orange. You were thinking, oh, maybe yan cha. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, started our ascent, like literally just started. I thought I'd get a quick clip in before. I'm totally unable to talk. Woo. Uh, we're right alongside that gorge that we saw down at the bottom. So we can hear the water roaring through the canyon. It's a different sound than when it's an open stream. I have to say, three or four days in a row, every day climbing, it's a little bit tiring. My thighs are like this. Yeah, this is uh, definitely interesting. But we're gonna be super fit, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm really glad. The saddest thing is when, when you do the all the measurement, there's <laughs> no chain. <laughs> or you gain weight because of the muscle plus the fat. <laughs> I think we just finished the worst of the climb. It's a really short one today. Thank heavens. Don't be so happy. 
We might be. <laughs> well, we might might be wrong. <laughs> but, but I uh, see the waterfall. That is pretty. Awesome. Beautiful waterfall in the distance, and the river, yeah. in the foreground, and our our future, right there. <sighs> and what do we say the most on every hike? Tighten the core. <laughs> Tighten the core. Oh. And also beer cruise today. And watermelon. And watermelon oh my after. God, look at those. Look at those little things on the pine. Those <laughs> mini pine cones. Right here. Yeah, I'm getting them. Look at that. Oh my god, they're cute. I can't get much closer without Don't get too close. jeopardizing my life, but you can see them, I hope. Keep climbing, keep climbing. This is much better uh, than those big staircases. Yeah, stairs that were like two uh -huh. feet high each. Right, it's a full deep squat and up. So instant heart pump, instant. Uh, I have to say, I really, really enjoy this route today with so much water beside us. A slightly different landscape, Escape? like a landscape. Landscape. That's right. <laughs> my English declines fast when all the oxygen goes to my body. Oh. Yes. So, bear with me. You're doing great. Uh, oh, I forgot <laughs> what I meant. Oh, oh, I just love the river because in the past uh, you. We have those mountain little streams and lakes. It's pretty, but to have that river sound along the whole trail, it's very refreshing for a change. It's just nice to breathe. Yeah. Which there's lots of that going on. Huh? We're supposed to jump here. Okay. This is the cliff you're supposed to jump over. Superman can do that. <laughs> so the trail got a little blurry up here as we approached the falls. And now we're kind of just scrambling through a rock field, which isn't too bad in terms of, uh, you know, walking or not going uphill or anything, but the footing is tricky to find for sure as we're looking for a spot to settle down and have some tea. So be sure to check out that video too. Gotta pay attention to my footwork here. It's not too bad here. Don't need too much. it off while we wait for the water to boil let me just show you the view we are facing okay I think you can see what's behind us too or already see that but this is the view we will be enjoying while sipping that epic tea great pairing with an epic view these mountains are really I don't know I feel I I feel like I want some shampoo, those rustic tea with this kind of a, a, a rustic scene, a little bit. Uh, it entirely matches the setting, right? It's a yeah. It's a rougher, ancient tea, you know, with history about rough trails and aging, and in this setting, it just it's just perfect. Yeah. Okay, water is ready. Okay, this is one This is one of my favorite part of the trail, which is walking this little water stream. Oops, that's it. Just about to the base of the falls here. Almost done this hike, almost ready to turn around and head back. This is a an out and back hike that ends here. Yeah. We're going to head down beside the river. Ooh. 
Wow. This is just gorgeous. All right, so here we are at the, right at the base of the Bow Glacier Falls. Uh, we made it up and uh, we had a beautiful tea, a 1999 Rushi Shempuar. Check that video out. It was stunning. <laughs> it was a little uh, bumpy at the bumpy. beginning, but I, I'm really glad we got that figure out in the end. Yeah. And it was really pleasant having the tea, even after the shoot, we were there. Yeah. Just enjoying the tea, the sound of the view for quite a while. Just it's gorgeous. so amazing. Yeah, so we're going to head back down now and we're going to head towards our beer cruise Woohoo! <laughs> so uh don't forget to subscribe to our channel give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we go live we're going live out here every now and then for a little uh personal tea time with you guys so mm -hmm. uh until next time keep steeping. keep steeping hike out has been really fun but really fast we've come down in about a half hour because the shampoo we had at the top really tickles the bladder. So the soothing river sound on the way up became a tease on the way down. Hello. That water sound the whole way. So even though I'm on a flat, I'm still panting because of the pace. Howdy. Oh my goodness, this is really beautiful. But we really gotta pee. We walked down super fast. Just let it air out a bit. Oh. Right. Like about 30, 40 minutes. We didn't run, we walked, but. Bad. Wow. Hey, well, I gotta go the other way. Oh. Full bladder <laughs> improves the performance. Like, Instantly, instantly. And the good thing is because we walk really fast and now we're super thirsty and I didn't even have time to take off my jacket. I'm hot and thirsty. I'm so ready for our next treat, watermelon. Now we're cutting up watermelon. We even remember to bring the knife with us and spoon so that we can have simple ones, just half half. <laughs> 